everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new species of dinosaur has been discovered. The newly discovered species is named Seatz Micarorum and lived approximately 98 million years ago. Paleontologists working with North Carolina State University and Chicago's Field Museum of Natural History discovered Seatz in Utah in 2008 and recently published their findings in the journal Nature Communications. The paleontologists who discovered Seatz believe that it was the apex predator of its day, and that it wasn't until Seatz went extinct that the much more familiar Tyrannosaurus rex was able to evolve and take its place at the top of the food chain. Speaking of dinosaur bones, a new study suggests that CT scans and 3D printing can be used to safely and precisely recreate fragile fossils. Not only are fossils surrounded by sediment when they're discovered, they're also often stored in protective plaster casts. Separating them from their surrounding material is a delicate matter and can make examining fossils a difficult and time-consuming process. This new study, conducted by researchers at Berlin's Charité Campus Mitte and published in the journal Radiology, suggests an alternative. The team in Berlin performed a CT scan on a fossil without removing it from its plaster jacket, used the information from the scan to create a digital model of the fossil, then produced an accurate replica of the fossil using a 3D printer, all without ever actually having to touch the original. Besides providing the data used to build the digital model of the fossil for the 3D printer, the CT scan also allowed the researchers to check the condition of the original fossil without having to remove it from its protective plaster jacket. Our final story deals with a different kind of scan, not a CT, but an MRI. Researchers at the University of Cambridge's Cavendish Laboratory have found a way to increase the resolution of an MRI scan using tiny diamonds. The researchers have developed a method of controlling and exploiting a property of nanodiamonds called the Nitrogen Vacancy Center, or NVC, a tiny gap in the structure of the diamond where electrons can be trapped. Manipulating the spin states of these trapped electrons allows scientists to conduct scans of living cells with incredible precision and resolution. For example, the effects of a drug on a single cell could be observed in real time. In addition to medical applications, the Cambridge researchers also suggest this technology could prove valuable in the rapidly developing field of material science. Paleontologists announce the discovery of a new dinosaur. Researchers develop a newer, safer technique for studying fossils, including dinosaur bones. And scientists use diamonds to boost the resolution of MRI. That's the good news. Did you have fun?